Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to look at the Code Lab feature in the uh, Cosmo app. Enki did a very good job, so you don't want to miss this. This is going to be very interesting. So we just uh, woke up our friend uh, Cosmo. Hey, good morning, buddy. Ah, you're uh, you're excited eh, to be. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you too. So this is our main uh, main uh, page on the uh, Cosmo app that we are uh, used to uh, to seeing now. And uh, as uh, Cosmo here is playing with his cube, we'll go to the Discover window. And uh, in this video, I'm going to cover Code Lab. So uh, Enki put a few. Uh, samples of what you can do with code lab they're all here but uh, my two kids uh, did uh, two uh, two uh, programs uh, last night so in a few seconds we're going to look at that but let's suppose for a moment that we're doing a new project because I want to show you what are the options that you have in in coding so here you you can see the flag which represents the start of your code and when you have some codes they will appear over here and then the flag is the start and of course this is the stop button so at the bottom here you have your options so I'm trying to get a good uh, focus like this so you have drive so here you can go forward backward you can turn right and left so you can do all these things next is actions here you can move the head, you can move the lift, you can flash the lights on Cosmo's back, and you can have Cosmo say a word or a sentence. In animations, there is a lot here. In animations, this is where Cosmo will, uh, will react. He can be excited, he can be sad, uh, he can even sneeze, you know, things like that. Over here, is the events so the events is um, what can happen in the life of, of Cosmo so Cosmo can see you he can see a face he can see um, a cube or he can also feel you touching a cube so that's interesting and in control only two for now uh, you can repeat a, um, a, a line of code four times or different times and also you can loop uh, a line a line of codes also so let's go back to drive this is an example where uh, Anki here uh, has a lot of potential when you think about that for future upgrades uh, in these uh, all these uh, codes so let's do a very simple code so we're going to tell uh, Cosmo to go forward so I'm just going to move this here in front of our flag so go forward and the number one here is not one second. So those of you who have done uh, Lego EV3 uh, coding, this is not one second. This is a wheel rotation. So we're going to tell Cosmo to go uh, forward by five wheel rotations. And then we're going to tell Cosmo to turn left. There you go and then go forward again for let's move this over there let's move it for three my fingers are too big three wheels rotation there you go okay so now we're going to move the cubes out of the way we'll have our Cosmo alone right here like this and we will press the flag button and Cosmo will make will uh, follow the code here nice eh? very nice very very simple to do as you could see so now I'm going to go back and which is nice also there's an auto save feature so for kids you know you don't worry about losing their codes the app will auto save what they are doing so let's have a look at what my kids did here we'll look at project number three and project number five so project number three 
we'll see here in a few seconds. This is it here. So this is the line of codes for project number three. So I'm going to remove the camera off the, uh, my tripod so that we can look at the eyes of uh, Cosmo during, the, uh, during the, uh, the time he goes through the codes. Okay, so now I have the camera in my hand and we have here the line of code. So I'm just going to stay there for a couple of seconds. So we can see here what's going to happen. A couple of emotions. Uh, there's also some text being said at the end and uh, it's going to move. So let's have a look at that. Okay, I'm going to press the flag to start the animation. Okay, that's it. So basically, he moved, he did some victory uh, sound, then he sneezed, and uh, there was some flashing lights also on his back, and at the end he said, uh, Sophie made this code. Let's look at the uh, second line of code, something that my son did last night, project number five. I have no idea what he did, uh, so this will be a surprise to me also. Oh, it looks like a long line of code. Let's scroll here. I guess we can. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, yeah, it's long. I see here there is an interaction with a cube. So we'll need a cube this time uh, close to Cosmo, like uh, maybe like this, and then click on start. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's doing weights. Okay. And that's it. So he said wow at the end, and then he pushed the, uh, the cube. So this was the line of code. You can see here at the beginning, there was like an angry face. So we saw him, he was not uh, happy at the beginning, he was uh, angry. There's a couple of codes also with the, the lights flashing on uh, his back. So it's a very, uh, this code lab here has a lot of potential, like I was saying here at the bottom. Uh, Enki can add a lot of things in the, uh, in the events here at the bottom in drive, actions, animations, events, and control. There is a lot of stuff that can be added uh, in the future. So thank you for watching, guys. If you have any questions, uh, put them down below, and I'll be happy, very happy to get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you. I hope to see you soon. Bye.